Well, that was a fun little project. Started out, I had to, I had to try to figure out, I had to try to figure out where I was going to pull electricity from to get to get my outlets on the wall. Um, where I thought I was going to get my electricity ended up not being where I was going to get it, and the box. The box that um, I ended up pulling my electricity from was wired really wired to the to the um, to the panel in a really strange way. I think I understand it now, though. Uh, when I pulled the wire out of the box and I I tested the black, it was it was hot, and I tested the white and it was hot as well. I didn't get that. I've never seen that before. So when I, when I went back to the electrical panel. I figured out that the black had its own 20 amp breaker and the white had its own 20 amp breaker and together they fed the heater that was attached to the wall inside my garage. I don't know if that's code <laughs> or if that's copacetic, but that's the way it was when I got here. So what I did, pardon me while I cut my cigar here. This is my victory cigar. It's a diesel gray label with a Connecticut wrapper. And I believe that's a Churchill. So this is my victory cigar. Where was I? Ah, so I went back to the electrical panel and with fear and trembling, I disconnected the white, um, the white, from from the uh, the breaker that it was on, uh, I had to stick a little screwdriver in there. I don't think I caught this on video, so I'm, that's why I'm explaining it. I had to get a flathead screwdriver and un, uh, loosen the the white wire and pull it out of the breaker box that it was in. Then I had to push it back and reinsert it into the the neutral column. I don't know what it's called, but the neutral the neutral bay that's in the breaker box um, and then very carefully run my flathead screwdriver in there and tighten it up I got it done didn't kill myself as you can see the uh, finished product ended up being a uh, properly wired breaker 20 amp breaker with the the the, the hot into the breaker and the and the neutral into the neutral column, and uh, I don't even know where the ground was. I never I never saw the ground. Um, anyway, so I pulled my electricity from the box, was able to was able to get my electricity. Um, um, let's see, I had some problems because I had mounted all my electrical boxes, but they were sideways, and the screws that I was, that I was using to put them in the wall weren't holding, and so they're all kind of wiggly and wobbly. I didn't like that. I wanted to do the project right, so I took them all off this morning and turned them all the right way. Got my hammer drill out, found some anchors that fit a bit I had, and um, decided to do it that way. Bottom line is I think it turned out great. It's kind of a rough and messy way to wire electricity into your garage like that. I'm sure that a professional could have done it much better. Um, I'm sure that they would have made it look better at the end, but it works for me. I've got my compressor plugged in over there now and my tool, my, my chargers for my tools. And uh, man, it's like new life in my garage. Thank you for joining me. I, I really appreciate it. If you would like the like this video and subscribe to the channel and uh, there'll be more coming down the pike soon. Have a great day. God bless.